Okay, so I got this really great question from the discussion board. I thought it'd be a good idea to go ahead and respond to it uh, via a quick video. So um, here's the first question. Um, what's the relationship between variance and standard deviation? Okay, so uh, first thing I want to go ahead and do is just quickly review what is uh, variance and what is standard deviation. I'm going to go ahead and talk about sample variance. Um, and sample standard deviation. Of course, there are different formulas for population variance and population standard deviation. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be focusing on sample, okay? So, in sample variance, the, uh, you know, little letter that we use for it is S squared, okay? So, this is variance for a sample. Um, the formula is the sum of the differences from, oops, not the population mean, but the sample mean, divided by n minus one, okay? So uh, let's break down this formula a little bit. Um, if I have a number line, um, let me talk about an example, let's say the height of you know, a certain type of tree. Uh, say on average, we have a sample and the average height of the tree is 150 um, inches. Okay, um, you know, what this is doing, so we have all these data, right, that's, you know, it's not all 150 inches, you know, say we have, you know, 30 data points, they're, you know, scattered on the number line, they're not all 150 inches, there's some that are shorter, some that are, are taller, and variance is a measure of the spread of the data, right, so um, what we're trying to do, so if this is one data point, we'll measure the difference uh, between these two, the mean and that data point, that kind of gives us an idea of how spread out the data is, right? So that's what this x minus x bar is. Now, why do we square it? Well, it's squared because, you know, uh, you, you don't care if the data is above the mean or below the mean, right? All you care about is, um, you know, how far away from the mean it is. So you square basically to get rid of the negative sign. Now, there are other measures of variation that use absolute value. Right, that's the absolute, uh, absolute um, average dif difference from the mean, um, but uh, it has less. It has uh, the properties for um, this standard, or this variance. It's better in terms of bias, and it's just it's a better uh, statistic, right? So this squared, it just has nice mathematical properties, so that's why we do the square versus doing like an absolute value or something. But the idea is to get rid of the, get rid of the uh, sign. Okay, so I'm sorry if you just heard my dog bark. We are outside, so uh, hopefully she won't bark again. Okay, so, um, so that, that's what's going on with this formula. Okay, why are we dividing it by n minus one, right? We're basically, we're finding the average distance from the mean that all the data points are, the average distance. So why not divide it by the sample size, right? Averages are usually divided by sample size. Well, if you think about it, uh, if we're given x bar, remember, what is x bar? It's the sum of all the data points, right? The sum of all the data points divided by n. Well, if I have x bar, how many unique data points do I have? Well, I only have n minus 1 unique data points because I could always, you know, use algebra Right, multiply both sides by n, then I could maybe subtract everything else, dot, 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 and I could get the last data point, right? So I only have, given x bar, I only have n minus 1 unique data points. So roughly speaking, that's why uh, we use divided by n minus 1. Again, it also has nice properties in terms of the bias, uh, which is you know, beyond the scope of this class, but um, you know, if you go on in statistics, you'll talk more about why this is n minus 1 and not n down there, okay? Roughly speaking, this is why. Okay, so um, that's what variance is. Now, what's standard deviation? Well, standard deviation is just the, it's, it's the same guy, right? We still have s. It's just the square root. So we've square root the variance, okay? So I could have the exact same equation on the inside, and I've just taken the square root. So why did I take the square root? Why do we even have standard deviation? Well, let's think about this. Um, you know, say my variance 
for you know this this you know made up example with my um, trees uh, where the the mean of the sample is you know 150 inches say the variance comes out to be 25 now 25 what 25 inches I squared, I remember I squared something here, so the unit would get squared as well. So the unit for the variance is squared, right? So my unit would be 25 inches squared, okay? Um, now, standard deviation gets rid of that problem. So my standard deviation, if I take the square root of 25, I get 5, right? Square root of 25 is 5. So my standard deviation would be 5 inches. That's something I can interpret, right? inches squared, can't interpret it, right? Okay, so um, that leads us nicely, so that's the difference between variance and standard deviation, and that leads us nicely into this, uh, what does the mean one standard deviation, um, within one standard deviation mean in terms of variance, okay? So let me go ahead and, let me scroll down actually a little bit. Um, what does one standard deviation, within one standard deviation mean? Okay, so this is a number line, okay? Uh, the unit for the number line is inches, right? So here in the center, I have 150, right? This is the sample mean, and it is in inches. So if I talk about one standard deviation, within one standard deviation, what I'm saying is I would go up one standard deviation. So one times S would be five. That leads me to 155. Five what? Five inches. I go up five inches and I go down one standard deviation. So I go down five inches. So that leads me to 145. So one standard deviation within one, within one standard deviation would be 145 to 155. That is within one standard deviation from the mean. So why don't we talk about within one variance? Oh, well, I can't. If, if this if this unit is in inches, how can I go a certain number of inches squared away from the mean, right? I can't, because remember the unit for this number line is in inches. So I don't talk about the mean with regards to inches squared. I talk about the mean with regards to inches. So no one, you know, we don't really, uh, you know, say within one variance from the mean. That doesn't, uh, you know, that doesn't compute. That doesn't work. So we don't do that, rather we talk only about one standard deviation away from the mean, okay? Now, since I'm talking about um, within one standard deviation, let me go ahead and just you know, continue this talk about within two standard deviations. Let's think about that real fast. What would be within, one, within two standard deviations? So I'd go two below and two above. Well, what's two standard deviations? Well, one standard deviation is five inches, so two would be 10 inches, right? So I'll go 10 inches above and 10 inches below. So that'll lead me to 140 to 150, okay? So standard deviation is really helpful in discussing the spread of the data because I can say something like, within two standard deviations from the mean, uh, you know, the, um, the uh, height of the trees is 140 inches, 250 inches. And later we'll talk about things like, well, you know, because that's within two standard deviations of the mean, that implies that, you know, 95% of the data is between uh, 140 and 150, okay? So we'll, we'll talk more about, you know, how we then make conclusions based off of standard deviation. But right now we're just, you know, mostly talking about the way standard deviation is, um, is used to characterize the spread of the data. All right, so I hope that that helps explain uh, your questions or just, you know, hope that, hope that helps to uh, clarify these questions. So if you have any additional questions, uh, please feel welcome to post. I'd be more than happy to talk more about this. Um, you know, thank you so much for, for this uh, question and, um, you know, for your contribution to the discussion board.